Aquaman is directed by James Wan and stars Jason Momoa, Amber Heard and Nicole Kidman among many others. The film is absolutely incredible, soaring with its adventurous feel, paying homage to films like Indiana Jones, but also combining the use of genre, very similar to The Dark Knight, although it's a very different film, it has those different elements of different genres that James Wan puts together so brilliantly with the elements of horror that are vivid in certain points throughout the film, and additionally sci-fi, and this is all among the completely stable tone portrayed by James Wan, whose style of directing is utterly sweeping, precise, and utilises the marvellous production design conveyed in all its wonder with the vibrant world created of Atlantis, and that is something to be in awe of. The cinematography is absolutely stunning and beautiful. The utilisation of wide shots help ground the sense of us being there with the characters as if we're spectating from afar. The film's soundtrack is brilliant, it's actually scored by the same person who scored Wonder Woman and he's done such an excellent job once again at conveying this underwater world in a brilliant way and there are many bone chilling moments of pure excitement as a spectator in the arms of the spectacle which is heard and seen on the screen and the response from the spectator is just absolutely wonderful. At the end of the screening, full of professional critics, there was a massive round of applause and that is saying something. The world building is seamless in its transition from physical set design which is impeccable and the rather incredible use of CGI to create a colourful world to get lost in. Additionally, the way the underwater scenes are shot are entirely believable and executed in a very precise way that really works, so the overall feel and tone of this isn't affected by CGI, the CGI is actually brilliant, and this is maybe the one superhero film along with The Dark Knight, even though The Dark Knight doesn't really use CGI all too often, it does quite a bit, but compared to this, this is CGI heavy, and it's just stunning throughout, you will barely even notice the difference between set design and CGI, and the characters in this film additionally feel real, and they aren't paper thin like say in Justice League and some other DC or Marvel properties of recent years, excluding Wonder Woman obviously, I'm more pointing towards Suicide Squad here. And James Wan actually takes the time to develop and delve into the backstory of these characters with the effective use of narration, especially towards the end of the film and the start of the film which will really hit you right in the feels because the voice of Jason Momoa talking over narrating is just utterly piercing. Amber Heard really shines alongside Momoa in her own utterly compelling way. She is probably one of my favourites in this film. She is excellent throughout and her character is rather simple but also the twist in her character and the way she sort of interacts around Aquaman, around Arthur is just entirely approachable and nice and sort of innocent, but also she is ruthless at the same time. Additionally, Black Manta is a true star, he is one of DC's best villains for sure, and along with this we have Ocean Master, who is brilliant as well, and we should be looking forward to more from Black Manta specifically, there's a lot to come with him, and they did such a great job at bringing this famed DC character to life on the big screen, and this is backed by extremely strong performances by the sporting actors like Nicole Kidman and Willem Dafoe, I have to especially point out Nicole Kidman, she is just absolutely marvellous throughout this whole film when she pops up and I can't recommend it enough. The action throughout is incredible, this is a massive step forward from the recent Snyder DC films and additionally Suicide Squad, where the action feels rather separated, you don't feel like you're there, but in this, one is able to truly capture the action in a way that rips into you as the spectator, as if you were taking the hits yourself, and that is something to truly admire that he's done this in such a great way, that really really touches you and feels like you're getting smashed every time or stabbed or anything like that, and there's some majorly shocking scenes 
throughout the film and there is this specific scene in Venice that is rather spectacular throughout and I was talking to a fellow film critic when I was there and we were just sort of looking back at how great the scene was and how great it was shot and the use of action, the use of CGI and you know the whole combining of all these different elements works so well in this film and the underwater fight scenes are equally as great and the film is packed with humour that never lands amiss, especially for us, even for a critic audience that was laughing a whole lot throughout and it was constantly hilarious, I found myself laughing hysterically throughout. But it's not just in dialogue in this film the use of humour, it's the use of visual humour as well, especially nearer the start of the film that is rather comforting to see and a far-fetched comparison is the work of Edgar Wright and how he uses visual humour as well as dialogue humour and I think one actually does this really successfully but nevertheless one successfully captures the tone with the comedic stuff, with the darker stuff, with the more adventurous stuff in a way that really works together and ties in to a nice bow. And there is no ounce of fat on this film with each scene placed and cut in a way that sets up the next scene and the scenes after and what's to come in the film, the film additionally very successfully doesn't suffer from the typical third act CGI fest fight scene where everything essentially goes downhill. So this is something, it never fails, the CGI is constant throughout, constantly brilliant and there is very little things that I can criticise about the film, there is a few lines of dialogue that are rather cliche but you get that in every superhero film, whatever the standard of the film, whether it's something like Venom that isn't very well regarded or whether it's something like Avengers Infinity War, there is always at least one or two lines so you can't put it down to that really because it's not a fest of that and there's only a few lines so not really anything I can actually criticize I think this is one of DC's best films and I must mention I had major moments of shivers actually rushing up my spine in pure moments of joy and excitement as a fan but also as this film actually works so well in capturing you in that connection it makes to the spectator to get such a response is just amazing. And so Aquaman is a new terrific entry in the belt of DC, a visual masterpiece that is utterly riveting throughout the entire film. So thank you guys so much for watching this review, if you want to see more reviews, more early reviews just after embargoes go up, if you want to see reactions follow me on Twitter at the DC TV show but also if you want to see more reviews like this for DC films or any other films please be sure to subscribe to not miss anything. So thank you guys so much for watching and go watch Aquaman later this week in the UK and watch it in a few weeks in America so I'll see you guys later, goodbye.